Prescriptive guidance appears in real time, providing turn-by-turn -turn guidance. Understanding how to make these movements is crucial for effective usage of the software. It is important to note that all guidance movements are to be made in relation to the patient. Always make small, slow movement until the guidance goes away, or new guidance appears. There are four main movement patterns you will be prompted to make. These include sliding, rotating, rocking, and tailing. Each of these movements can be made in multiple directions. Sliding is the movement you will likely perform at the beginning of every scan making large, slow circular sweeps until moving anatomy appears. It is the only movement performed without your wrist stabilized. For all other movements, you want your wrist secure against the patient to prevent any accidental probe movement or slipping. Sliding guidance is also used for smaller movements, such as sliding up towards the patient's head, sliding down towards the patient's feet, sliding medial towards the patient's midline or sternum, and sliding lateral towards the patient's left side. Rotate is another guidance prompt. Since it is a fine movement, make sure to stabilize your wrist and hold the probe close to its face for maximum control. The two directions for rotating are clockwise, or to the right, and counterclockwise, to the left. Rocking and tailing are both angling movements and are performed along different axes of the probe. Rocking refers to movements performed along the indicator axis. Since the indicator is only on one side of the probe, the directions for rocking will be to rock towards the indicator or to rock away from the indicator. Tailing is the second angling movement that is performed along the non-indicator axis. The tail also refers to the end of the probe. You can make tailing movements in four different directions depending on the view you are trying to acquire. For example, when scanning the parasternal long axis with the indicator pointing towards the patient's right shoulder. You can tail up towards the patient's head or tail down towards the patient's feet. If you are scanning the parasternal short axis with the indicator pointing towards the patient's left shoulder, you can tail medial towards the patient's midline or sternum or tail lateral towards the patient's left side. Again, it is important to make small, slow movements so that the software can update and give you new guidance cues as needed. The software also provides guidance on when to adjust the depth. This can be done by tapping the yellow plus or minus sign. Alternatively, you can drag your finger up or down the screen.